Well, hello, Richard Scott here. Today is May 17th of 2019, and we got bees in a car. This is an old car door, 64 Ford, and uh, pretty interesting. They've actually built inside this door. I'm gonna see if I can get the bees to get out of here. I'm gonna try to force them to abscond if I can since they're in such a small space, but you can see where bees are going in uh, by the windowsill and also uh, right here at the door plate. So uh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try to see if I can get them to abscond. They've been here for about four years. So um, we'll see what I can do here. But again, this is a pretty cool setup. I've never seen bees build, uh, build in a door like this. And they're just confined to this front door, uh, front passenger side door. And you can see them right there. See them coming in and out. They've got several entrances and exits, uh, two right there and then one right up here by the window sill. So what I've got, I've got a, a nuke box over here, one of those cardboard nuke boxes, and I've got some frames in there. And I'm gonna see if I can get the bees to abscond out of this car using a bee quick spray. And it's harmless to the bees, but it will uh, kind of drive the bees out of the cavity, I believe. Uh, we're going to try it. it, it it's kind of a different process, but uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to actually get to the comb. So if I can get the bees to abscond, that'll make life a lot easier. So again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get the bees to abscond to this box here. Uh, I'll show you what's in here. This is just a cardboard uh, five frame nuke box. And I've got some drawn frames in here some good old frames just like that and more than likely the bees would adapt to this a lot easier versus if I didn't have any frames in here so uh, even still got a little pollen in some of these but anyway see if we can get them out of this car just pretty cool setup I've never seen a building a car door like this and again they've been here for several years That's for at least four years I believe All right, so we got a rig set up here. This is my new box I've kind of attached to this car. And I'm gonna seal at least two holes right here with some tape. I'm gonna use the be quick and we'll spray down this window seal here and see if I can get these things to abscond in my box. Uh, I did put a little bit of um, lemongrass oil inside my new box, just a couple of drops of that. That kind of resembles the queen pheromone, so the bees are most likely to go to the box. Um, but we're gonna try this different process. I, I don't typically do it like this. Usually I remove the comb and everything inside and the brood, but uh, I, I don't really have the ability to do that without doing major deconstruction on this car. So I'm gonna to try to avoid that if I can. But I've got, a, there's an entrance and exit right here by the hole of this box. And that's gonna be the only way they can get in and out. So if I can seal these two spots up here, spray some be quick down into this window seal, I'm hoping that will drive them out and in, into my box. But like I said, this is a different process, so we're gonna try it. Here's an update. Now I've got the spray I sprayed in there, and this is what I use, it's called a bee quick. And it doesn't harm the bees, it just has an odor they don't like at all, and it will run them out of a hive. And I sprayed in these two small holes in the door panel. And they seem to be uh, just boiling out consistently. There's a drone bee right there. That's a male bee. A lot bigger than the other bees, but it's, it's kind of like a fat, chubby type of bee. There's two drones right there side by side. One there, one there. You know, the cool thing about a drone bee is they don't have a stinger, so you can sit here and actually grab these things. See if I can do it without getting stung. Yeah, there's a drone right there. They don't have a stinger. You can try as much as it wants to sting me, and you can't do it. You got big, bulgy eyes there, big black eyes. Uh, they're just kind of a fat, chubby bee compared to the other bees. The other bees are skinnier than these, and the queen is actually longer than a drone, but she's skinnier. So uh, you, you can always tell the difference by that. Almost looks like a bumblebee. 
just pretty cool to see these things. The only purpose for drone bees in the hive is to mate with the queen. They have no other purpose. They don't go out and work. They don't forage. All the uh, worker bees are all females. Uh, and that is, that's pretty much it. But I think this hive is pretty small based off what I'm seeing here. Uh, I'm driving a lot of bees out, but I'm keeping out on the queen. I see some bees up here fanning. Uh, I need to watch this in case the queen pops out. But uh, again, it just doesn't look like a, a major hive here. In fact, if you look carefully, these bees here, I know it's hard to tell they're actually fanning. So just kind of watching where these bees are going in case this queen pops out. And this right here, see that black beetle right there at the tip of my finger? That is a hive beetle. Uh, these things will go in and destroy a weak hive. Bees do not like them. You can see it, see it right there. What they do, they go in, they lay, lay these little eggs in the honeycomb, and those eggs, they hatch, and, and it looks like maggots. It's terrible. It's an awful thing to see. But they'll go in and make the hive all slimy and nasty. There's another drone bee right there. See it? See how big it is compared to the other bees? Just fat, chubby bee. There's a drone right there. These bees are really calm. They tried to sting me one time. See, they even landed on me. They just don't not want to sting me. There's the drone. There's a worker. That's a worker bee. That's a drone. See the difference? Pretty cool. These are constantly coming out of this hole here, trying to get away from that smell. There's a drone coming out right there. Not that one. Some worker bees looking for the queen. Coming out of this hole if I can find the queen I'll put her in this little cage here and what this is other bees can come in and out these slots are just big enough to where other bees can come in and out and tend to the queen and uh, she can't fit out so I'll put this in my loot box up here and that'll draw the other bees in once you get that pheromone. And in a couple of days, I'll release her. But the big thing is to get her to come out. And they're all steadily coming out. So I think she's uh, just a matter of time before she pops out. Still waiting and watching. Uh, just a quick update to show you what the bees look like now. Uh, again, they're in the process of absconding. Uh, they're all constantly pouring out of these little holes here. Uh, steadily, just bees coming out of these holes and they're not going back in. So I sprayed the bee quick in there and that seems to be really driving them out. I haven't sprayed any in about 15 minutes or so and they're still steadily coming out of these holes. Not sure if the queen's come out yet or not. Uh, looking for her. Again, this isn't an overly large hive, and they're in the door panel of a car, so they can only be so big anyway. But I believe this was a fairly weak hive based off what I've been seeing. Looking for the queen. Once I find her, I'll put her in the box and get all the other bees in there. Numbers are definitely growing. Here's another update. These are still coming out of these holes, steadily not going back in, and they seem to be orienting to my box, which is good. Haven't seen the queen yet, 
again, I don't think it's an overly large hive. But um, I'll be looking for the queen, see if she'll come out. If not, it seems like they're trying to go over my box anyway, so maybe, you know, she'll go in. There's no doubt they did not like this spray. And again, it's not harmful to them. It's called Be Quick. And it's, it's just a smell they do not like. And I really sprayed a lot in there to get it kind of settled down to the bottom of the hive to try to chase the bees out. And, and it seems to be working. I mean, they're still steadily coming out of these holes here.